Hello everybody and welcome to this video. We are in Great Bentley, which I believe is Essex. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. definitely in Essex North this time. Essex. North Essex. <laughs> yeah. um, and we're at Cartec UK Limited, uh, which is the home of Cartec in the UK. And I'm joined here by James and Dan. Um, and we've been wandering around this lovely warehouse and looking at all your lovely products. Yeah. And I thought it'd be nice just to do a little introduction into the company, the Dutch, original Dutch company, yep, yep. Um, your organisation, the, the UK side of things, and then have a little chat about the products that are coming out and that you'll see on shelves soon. Um, so first of all, would you like to introduce yourself? And yeah, of course. I'm James. Um, I'm sales director of Cartag UK. Um, we've been going six years. A great company to be a part of. Um, so yeah, it's um, very, very good. Enjoy it a lot. Happy days. And Dan? I'm Dan. Um, yeah, sales manager. Um, as I say, we've been going six years, lots of new exciting things going. Um, cool. We are in a working environment, so don't worry about the noise of phones or indeed <laughs> squeaky chairs that I've been told they've got. They promise it's the chairs. Um, so, Cartec, a Dutch company, started 1988-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, Specialised in kind of car wash, trade, body shop style. Kind Originally, of yeah. Big bulky chemicals. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. What's really interesting is you guys started, as you say, six years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, your focus initially was obviously bringing in what they do. But you've almost, you, you know, the UK market's different from the Dutch market. So, yeah, so tell yeah. us what, what it was like in those early years of, of bringing Cartec and trying to grow the brand in this country. Yeah, so initially it started um, as a silicon-free uh, range, which, which obviously is perfect for the body shop market. Um, and since then, it's sort of gone from strength to strength in, in the detailing market. Um, once the compounds uh, were released recently, the diamond cuts, you can see behind us, the, uh, the 5,000, 3,000, 9,000, 12,000, um, they're just they're excellent for that market. So it's kind of lifted us from the trade side of it to the retail and detail side of it. Um, and yeah, it's um, it's very very. It's just a great range. There's there's, there's obviously um, better products than some, but in terms of the whole <coughs> range, we offer a great great um, offering to to that side of it. So. Good package. Yeah, really good package. And what I think is really interesting is the body shop market is different from the detailer market. So in the detailer yep. market, we've had good compounds for quite a long time. We've got you know the likes of Scholl, Menzerna, Cochamie. All of these are good solid brands. Yeah, of, of course. course. Yep. But if you go back to the body shops. You don't see those brands very often. It's more no. 3M and Freckler and, and, yeah. yeah. and what was it, Roar and stuff. Yeah, like Roar, yeah. yes, yeah, there's Roar. Um, yeah. And so, what you've kind of, by the sounds of it, a lot of your success has been taking detailer standard compound yeah. into a body shop market. Mm -hmm. And because of that silicon free status, you've got kind of free entries. If you've got any products, I'm not saying obviously that those others do contain silicon, although some of them may or may not. Mm -hmm. yep. Hashtag please don't send me to jail. <laughs> um, but um, you've got that, you've got at least that channel, that contact ready to be able to go in there. And then suddenly body shops coming back at you and saying, wow, we were doing this in three stages. We can now do it in two. We yep, were yep. doing this with dust, with fillers, with all sorts of drop back issues. Mm -hmm. And now we don't have those anymore. Mm. Um, yeah, I think a lot of that's down to the hard work the guys in Holland put into the products because everything is researched, developed, uh, manufactured and tested in their own labs in mm -hmm. Holland. Um, so they really put the time and effort into making a real premium um, A-class product, um, which means it is suitable for all of those sectors, you know, because obviously, the, as you say, the detailing sector is very different to the trade and the body shop sector. But at the base of it, they're all after a product which provides really good results uh, quickly, efficiently, and cost-effectively as well. So, and uh, yeah, sort of a big thing of that is the work that the guys in Holland put into the product. So, mm. well, is it Johan? The yes, yeah. yes, Johan's the MD um, over in Holland. Yeah, created it himself. And yeah, and it's very much a family business. Sons yes. and daughters and brothers yeah, and yeah, yeah, and for sure. And it's nice. Aunt. Yeah, so, yeah. There's loads of them. Um, but it's nice because uh, my father is a shareholder in Cars at UK, and me and Dan are second cousins. So it's, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, a, it's a real big family, um, you know, environment yeah. and atmosphere. Second cousin. I thought you looked more like brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. Everyone says. This is Essex, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Um, so no, it's a really good, really good, nice to be part of. It's, yeah. And actually, one thing I get the the environment around here is actually pretty mm. relaxed. It's it's a small yeah, team yeah, and yeah. it's kind of it's it's very friendly and it's nice. And you're in an amazing industrial estate here. So we're in Great Bentley, which is um, apparently I'm, I'm told it's the Rolls Royce of Bentleys because there's a, a lesser <laughs> Bentley in Sussex. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. I've done that joke twice today, and I'm proud. <laughs> um, but it's got a lovely green. It's got a church. Large and green in Europe. Yep. Is it? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's, that's that's a first date material chat. Isn't it? <laughs> um, and it is. Um, 
But this little industrial estate is just everything automotive. You've got yeah. drop shops, you've got uh, body shops, you've got detailer, you've got AG detailing up the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it really does feel like an automotive nirvana-ish in a kind of working kind of way. You know, yeah. it's, not, it's not full of supercars. There have been one, one Subaru, but you know, <laughs> apart from that, they're all of a kind of a general plethora, but it's yeah. a really good working automotive yeah. estate. Mm -hmm. Plenty of people to test products. <laughs> yes, yeah, you all different facets of the industry. Oh, I have yeah. seen people terrible chemical burns. So <laughs> that's what you mean. They yeah. weren't using car tech stuff, then. No, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so um, to products. Now, um, I had a brief run through of the products. You've obviously got your ceramic product as well. Ceramic guard, yes. yeah. ceramic guard. Now, what you said was really interesting about that is the actual kind of ingredient in that so obviously ceramics are ceramics to an extent you know there's it's a it's a big smoke and mirrors topic should we say um but yours doesn't use silicon dioxide doesn't use sio2 does it no no, no. Uh, what does it have instead so it has a uh, silicium carbon uh, like you're finding carbon fiber so the benefits of that are with sio2 um you lose 30 percent of the gloss and durability um while it's flashing off on, on the substrate mm -hmm. um, with silicium carbon you only lose five percent so it's 25 percent more glossy and more durable um, so it's a very, very strong coating. And your coating is a three-year guarantee with a coating? Mm -hmm. Three-year guarantee straight, straight off with the initial treatment. And then um, professional application only? Professional yeah. application only, yes, you have to be trained to apply. And by Christmas you'll have 20 guys in the UK who are qualified on it. Correct. Mm -hmm. So yep. you're looking to expand that? Yes. yes. Just sure. FYI Massively professionals so, yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you do a territory-based system as well. Yep. Yep. So is there a map or something guys can look online? If they're yes, mm -hmm. ceramicguard.co.uk. Um, there's uh, all of our current ones on there. So, And once someone's accredited, we uh, will add them to that map. And so we get an inquiry from someone saying, I live in <coughs> Kent, Cumbria. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get ceramic guard on my car. We put the inquiry on to the technician in that area. So we all like to you know, work together and to grow the brand and sort of, yeah, grow business for everyone. That makes sense, that makes sense. And the nice thing is, just going back to the three year thing, yeah. is first of all, this coating can be applied to all surfaces. So a lot of companies will do dedicated coatings for different materials, so your trim, your glass, your leather, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, including leather, the CarTech product goes on all of them, and you're saying that's because of its flexibility, yeah. that particular property helps. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's any non-porous surface. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and at that three year, there's a little booklet, like a service booklet, because you have a top up spray, which is similar sort of spray on, wipe off, sort of easy yeah, going. Yeah, it's called Ceramic Guard Extender. So the great thing about that for the professional is it gives them another contact point of the customer as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they can come back, they can inspect the coat in and sort of top it up. And so through that, they can then offer a, a genuine lifetime guarantee rather than a sort of a lifetime guarantee where it gets applied and and off you go yeah, and you never get seen again. So. And I think that's quite honest because one thing saying is lifetime guarantee, but it's a mm -hmm. lifetime guarantee on the basis that this is the, the top up is reapplied every yeah. year. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. That's kind of honest, you know, saying, well, look, these things don't last forever. There's an element mm -hmm. of it. So just come mm -hmm. back once a year for it to be done. Yeah. From a professional point of view, it'd be nice if they came back once a month. Mm -hmm. making of course. The rest of the rest. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's an interesting one. Looking forward to seeing more of that. Um, mm -hmm. The big standout product for me, I'm going to go first because I'm holding the interview, but the big yeah. standout product for me <laughs> is you've got the detailing dome. Mm -hmm. yep, so it's yep. not actually a dome, <coughs> no, yeah, yeah. interestingly, <laughs> um, but uh, we've got some photos of it that's over at AG Detailing right now, and yep. that is uh, essentially, it's, it's a mixed, well, it's, it's a what, six meters long, you were saying? Six, six by, by three. three and a half. Yeah. Six by three and a half, so bigger than even the big gazebos, mm -hmm. or at least wider. Yep. You've got a big uh, transparent panel above, which has got um, a light dispersal yeah, Sheet. diffused white light. Yeah, diffused white light, and that's got a stonking great LED. I had to go. Two on of a, them. Yeah, yeah. I had to go on a on a on a on a, on a ladder um, to get a photo and kind of rip apart. Not rip apart. I gently <laughs> bent open the thing to be able to get a photo of them, and the camera just went nuts. It couldn't cope with the lumens. Um, so what is that's LED? Is it that thing? Yes, think? all yeah. the lights on there are LED. Yeah. How much power is those central ones? Off the my left head. retina says a sort of a lot. Yes, That's a lot. Okay. So you don't want to be looking into it. I'm not sure of the exact um, lumens or the colour exactly, but yeah, seriously powerful. And the way that that works is by going through the white canvas, mm -hmm. which is uh, sort of strung up on the frame below them, that diffuses the light and that allows you to see any sort of wet patch, if you will, on mm -hmm. the panel. So um, there's another lighting for the refinishing the paint correction stage, which James will go for in yes, a second, I'm sure. But once you've yeah. done that and you come to um, panel spraying and applying the coating, it lets you see exactly where you've been so that massively reduces the chances of any missed sections or anything. Because with ceramic cones, light is lighting conditions are everything, mm -hmm. so you can yeah. see where you're working. Yeah, as Dan was saying with the refinish light, basically there's, there's a light in each corner of the, the dome. 
um, and it's controlled with the remote control and you can just switch off the LED, switch to the finish light and that will just identify every scratch and hologram. Mm -hmm. So it's a perfect environment for machine polishing. Um, and actually I think the remote control is a really nice touch. I saw mm -hmm. a recent video by yeah. Kelly Harris and he was flipping the lights on and off to show about over flooding light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fascinating video. Yeah. And he was doing it all by remote control. And I thought, that's really clever. Yeah, yeah. It's just sounds yeah. 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 Um, also, what's your public liability insurance like? Because I generally think I have screwed my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just going to say, covered no, enough. Expensive. Covered enough. <laughs> so, come back with a patch. Yeah. Um, so that's that's my favourite thing. You've got lots of cool tool holders, and it's just yeah. a heads up. In issue ten, we're doing a very cool article on studio management, and uh, I've been sweet talking these chaps here, and they're going to give us some stuff for the shoot as well. So uh, keep your eyes open for some very lovely bottle holders and various other bits and bobs uh, from Cartec and from other manufacturers as well. We've been keeping a green garage. Um, so now onto your favourite products. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, so mine's actually a combination. Um, so by far, um, I'd say the highest selling product now, it's definitely is the highest it says for its selling product. Uh, the Diamond Cut 3000, um, it's got zero fillers whatsoever. Uh, so a lot of companies, um, products, you'll, you'll machine polish a car, the customer washes it, or you know, the sun basically evaporates the fillers um, out of the, the substrate, and then you get um, what's known as um, drop back. Yes. Um, so the gloss will just basically drop back, and you'll see all the flatting marks and what have you. So this is completely free of that. Uh, ideal for the body shop market and detailer market, um, completely silicon free, um, it has no ammonia in there so um, a lot of products with ammonia and it can stain plastics and what have you. Yes. Um, so yeah, very good product um, and also the combination I was talking about is the, the new green pro pads. Um, we do the pro pads in every single colour so um, all the way through from green up to anthracite for the 12,000, uh, different grades. but. The reason I love this so much is it cuts 30% quicker than a thicker pad um, because the machine um, is closer to the substrate, so you get a lot more torque um, put through. So that's yeah. perfect for a DA. Where exactly, yeah. So you can use it on a DA and a rotary, um, and it lasts 20% longer than, say, a traditional uh, thickness pad. And the reason uh, that that's the case, when aesthetically it doesn't look like that, um, mm -hmm. the reason is the thicker the pad, the more the heat stays in the pad, mm -hmm. and all it causes it to do is compress like that. Um, and that causes it to break down quicker. So uh, yeah, the heat doesn't stay in these, it flows through, does the job quicker and lasts longer. So all round, very good product. Mm -hmm. On the topic of fillers, I think it's important to note out that even when using this, you still want to use a panel wipe, wipe yeah. down. Yeah, in between um, stages, yeah, for because sure. Because there are lots of compounds out there. Some of them contain fillers that are purposely there to make it look at kind of one step and stuff like that. Sure. Some of them just have a lot of oil and grease and, and some yeah. contents of the actual compound in there yeah. that mm -hmm. you need to wipe away. And even one that is completely filler free, you definitely still want to do a wipe down, particularly before any LSP application or coating application. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Just an important point. Just a hint. And what about yeah. yourself? For myself, I'm a simple man of simple pleasures. And a clean this engine is bay <laughs> is uh, one of those. And every time I see the MV40 engine cleaner, used it just blows my mind mm -hmm. because you literally just spray all over the engine bay and um, it's quite a safe product it's citric acid based so it's not super aggressive um, and you just let it sit there and it's really thick and viscous and it soaks up all that oil and grime rinse it away and then the engine bay is just spotless so nine times out of ten you're not going to have to agitate it and yeah as i say every time i see it it just blows my mind how quick simple and easy it is so, so, quick question. Mm -hmm. My favourite degreaser engine bay product mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, I, is uh, at the moment it's Bright Max Grime Out, mm -hmm. and I just like it because it just works yeah. in the same way. You spray it on and that's a lot. However, got to dilute it because I found that when you put it on an engine bay, sometimes the paint in the engine bay hasn't got lacquer on it, mm -hmm. and I found that I was brushing yeah. away yeah. and so, the paint was selling, coming off, and there was a bit of a panic yeah. situation. Yeah. And on uh, acrylic headlights as well, if I'm yeah. undiluted, it can yeah. Yeah. increase the misting speed. Yeah. So with this one, mm -hmm. being because the, the Brightmax one, I think is, it's, well, what I love it, it, it's powerful stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You yeah. feel like mm -hmm. it, the, now this one, if it's citric based, it's going to be a bit milder, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, we say test it on an inconspicuous area. That's first. To get out of jail free card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, really nice um, and safe to use. It can be watered down because it's water based. So, to make it even more economical, if you're doing an engine bay which you clean every two weeks, mm -hmm. you know, you can water it down because it's not going to need that grunt to clean it. So, but you'll have to. Uh, 
So you'll try, try that. by pump spray or something like that? Yeah, pump spray, so yeah. or trigger spray or compression spray, yeah. either or. So. You want to you mix it 10 to 1. Um, yeah. That's the most efficient way to mix yeah. it, but it's solvent free as well, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it can't damage any of the incubators. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the big selling points. And it also is a great floor cleaner. Yeah. Um, if you've got grease and oil on a, on a workshop floor, you can literally spray it on. You'll see physically it will lift up the dirt and push it to the top of the surface. It's very foamy as well. It foams up a lot, so um, yeah, it's quite nice to work with. Yeah. Well, we'll yeah. give this a go and give mm -hmm. some feedback in the next magazine. Great. One thing that's really interesting, I've noticed your labels changed. Because you've gone from a trade body shop trade product, yeah. you're now moving towards detailing and detailers like shiny things yeah, yeah. Um, and I suppose ultimately the retail market has probably got some sort of appeal I would yeah. imagine don't mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. jump any guns yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, what's good to see is, is obviously this is from a, from a branding point of view for somebody like me this is kind of exciting I like click text yeah. and it's also good to see CLP warning signs mm -hmm. um, but and oh cracky and lots of labels printed onto the bottle but <laughs> the key point is that you've got the new kind of bottled range with new labels and they're shinier and a bit yeah. of sort of um, shelf appeal is, I suppose that's what we call it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you'll see it on the new uh, colour line system, which is the uh, it's basically 11 products, uh, 12 now actually, because we've added the next one. Um, but it's it's everything to clean the car inside and out. It's uh, fully wall mounted on the on the um, on the wall. Um, a poster as well to show you, or tips and tips and tricks how to um, apply the products, best mm -hmm. ways of, of using them. Um, and yeah, so that that's the first product. Uh, kit with the new labelling on, mm -hmm. um, so I imagine the rest will follow suit, uh, but it's very, very nice to look at, mm -hmm. very appealing to me. Yeah. Happy day, so are you going to be at Wax Talk next year? We will yeah. be, yeah, 100%. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if people want to have a look at your range, where can they find it on Tinternet? Yeah, so it's cartechuk.com, um, Cartec, so C-A-R-T-E-C, um, no H, because I'm mad people who do that and get it wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, UK, all one word, dot com. And we've also got ceramicguard.co.uk, which is a dedicated site for the ceramic guard. Yep. And also on there, you can find a map if you do want your card coated, or if you're wondering if there's a gap in the uh, UK, if you're interested in becoming a technician, um, and some more information on that there as well. That's brilliant. And you're near a train station, so I can tell you. Yes, yeah, well, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> About 50 <laughs> minutes into London. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, thank you very much for your yep. time. Thank you very thank much you. for showing us around. Cheers. And uh, we look forward to working together in the yep. future. Thanks, Thanks so much. Cheers. Thank you.